Welcome back to another video with your boy, Matt, here at Ozark Fence, or in particular, here at Ozark Wireworks. We had a couple of comments recently that they wanted to see some more of the chain link manufacturing that we do here at Ozark Wireworks. And you're in luck today because we are here weaving wire. Thought we would shoot a quick video and bring you guys along for the ride. Let's get to it. All right, so this is where we start, over here with Smooth Strand. Now we get this in by the truckload and it comes in different varieties. We have 11 and a half gauge, 11 gauge, nine gauge, and we also have vinyl coated smooth strand. So before we start weaving wire, we come over here and assess and see what we're gonna be running. And we grab the right strand to bring over to the machine. So once we grab, <coughs> Excuse me. So once we grab the right smooth strand, we bring it over to the wire weaving machine. Her name is Wendy. And yes, all wire weaving machines have names. They must be a girl's name. That's what our instructor said when he was here teaching us. So Wendy, YouTube, YouTube, Wendy. Anyway, let's start here with the coils. We bring them underneath of the pulley system. And we've got these set up right now. They're 11 and a half gauge strand because we're making four foot 11 and a half gauge wire. So we've got these two strands in place and we're drawing them into the machine into the forming worms and the stretching worms to turn them into chain link. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. Now that the pulleys have pulled the smooth strand over to the heart of the machine, it now is going to feed the smooth strand into the forming worms. And the forming worms pretty much use the worms and a blade to twist the chain link into the diamond pattern that everybody knows about chain link. So it first goes through the forming worms and then it moves to another series of worms that stretch the wire. And that's pretty much the heart and soul of the operation of making chain link is forming it. And once it's formed, it then moves from here into the trough where it feeds into the pre-existing chain link. And then depending upon what type of chain link you're making, you have the two turrets on the top that either knuckle the chain link or twist or sometimes knuckle and twist on either side. All right, so now that we've got the wire to the stretching worms and the forming worms, let's go ahead and we're gonna send the picket down range and we'll take a look at what it looks like in the trough. So now that it's sent it down here, you can tell that it weaves into the existing fence. And this is the manual mode for the machine, but once it's fed in there, the next step is cutting it. It has some high carbon steel here that's been heat treated so that it doesn't dull out. Let's go ahead and show you what the cut looks like. Now that the picket has been sent down the trough and we've cut the wire, the next step in the operation are the turrets. Let's jump up there and see what that looks like. So we're on the other side of the machine. This is the finished side. And you can see we have one complete roll of four foot, 11 and a half gauge. And once it's here, the machine will let you know when it's done. And you pretty much just pull it down off the wire dogs or what they're called. You pull out the complementary picket and place it back into the new roll. This is uh, for people out in the field installing multiple rolls so that they have a strand to weave two rolls together. The last step in the operation is to tag the roll. That way people know what kind of chain link it is. Once we get a full pallet done, we strap it up and we bring it over to the shrink wrap machine and we set it out into the lot. We either then ship it over to Ozark Fence 
or we'll keep it here if we're shipping out orders to different customers. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for Wendy, the chain link weaving machine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the machine. It's actually pretty cool, kind of like how it's made. Hopefully you learned something and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Time to get back to work.